What is up, YouTube? Today's tip is going to be transients need their room or transients need their space, whatever. And I just, for some reason, I like making snare drums and stuff. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to show you what I mean by this. So pick at random, boom. So now we're going to decide if this is going to be our main snare. Could be. So far, it's going to be. Now, from there, let's go into a clap. That actually may work. So now that we know the snare is going to be our main snare, this is going to have the transient. So what we're going to do is now fade this clap in appropriately until it sounds good. Um, wow, that actually worked pretty well. And so now here, I would process and put a little bit more reverb. So this clap would be like until it goes out. This is kind of, it ends too soon for my liking. But yes. This is what we're working with so far. It's coming out good. We could do another clap, or what I also like to do is add in a snap, although I haven't had much snaps transferred over here, so we don't have much to choose from. So we're gonna just dive right in, and maybe we'd go like this. Now we have a super big um, sound, but See, look, now that we know it sounds good, we need to dive in and look. Okay. Now we can put this here, open up this. What was that? I think it was what, two? Anyways, you guys get it. You need to spread them around and figure out where your main one's gonna hit and let that main one be the main one. Everything else, move around. Yeah, so I like that. Now I would bounce this out to a piece of audio and obviously after I put that reverb on I would do bo I would do it dry and with the reverb on just because what if I want it dry and now I can't go back to this and yeah so definitely bounce out when you're making your samples one dry one wet so that way you have both and then you could go in and boom now you're ahead of the game you have big fat custom sounds of yours already processed to your likings and you know they're going to sound good once you pop them in. So that's my tip for you guys. Transients need the room. Even though this is fooling your eye and it looks like they're lined up, I do have it offset. And the reason for that is, look, I could control D it and it still has the delay. When you delay it on the grid, it's hard to control D it unless it's a full, like, you know, loop already offset and then you just flatten it then that way it's not so in the way but this I find just helps it just helps as is you can keep it flat on the grid it's easy to work with and it's already offset and without clicking all of these to offset them say you don't like that offset and you want to move them boom you just click right here and you could hear them and click back without doing anything so that's my tip for you guys. Transients, the main transients need their room. And I'm talking about when you're layering up stuff such as drums or any other stuff that really needs their space to hit hard. If it's not hitting hard, maybe it's stacked up with other stuff and you just move them out on the grid so that one could come in by itself and just punch in. As always, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment what you guys want to learn in the future.
And my suggestion for you guys is to watch one of these videos next. Peace.